We're going to start by standing at the front of our mat. Inhale as we lift our arms up. Exhale as we fold forward. You can walk your legs out here. Grab hold of either elbows. Hang down in ragdoll pose. Swing your body from side to side if it feels good to. We're going to place our hands on the floor and send our right leg back into our equestrian pose. And just really feel that stretch there. We're going to tuck the toes of the right leg underneath and come into sort of like a low lunge before sending our left hand up to the sky, looking at it, bringing it back down outside your foot and sending your right arm up to the sky. Okay. From here, we're going to place the knee on the floor and come into our half splits. So inhale as you lift your arms up, exhale as you fold forward, try and get that head on the knee and keeping your hips as square and in line with each other as possible here. You should feel this stretch down the back of your front leg. And we're going to send our knee back into equestrian pose here. And then send our left foot back into high plank. So our left foot goes back to meet our right as we come into a high plank. From high plank we're going to drop the knees, then the chest, the chin into our eight point pose. Take a deep inhalation and exhalation before rolling your body out into cobra or upward dog, whatever you prefer. Inhale and exhale as you send your hips back into downward dog. From here we're going to send the right leg up into the sky as reach up as high as it possibly can. And then we're going to bend our right knee and try and stack our hips. So really feel that stretch in your hips there. This is really great at opening your hips. Make sure you're breathing so good inhalations and exhalations. Send your right foot in between your hands into a low lunge and drop your left knee on the floor into our equestrian pose before sending our left arm up, looking at our left hand, bringing it back down towards the floor and sending your right hand up. Now we're going to send our hips back and do our half split with our right leg in front. So inhale as you lift your arms up and exhale as you fold over your right leg, bringing your head towards your knee and again trying to keep your hips as in line with each other as possible here. Come back into your equestrian pose and we're going to tuck the left toes underneath and send our right leg back beside our left bringing us into a high plank plank take a deep inhale here before dropping your knees your chest your chin into our eight point pose okay roll your spine out into up dog or cobra before sending your hips back into downward dog take a deep inhalation and exhalation here before sending our right leg up Sorry, our left leg up and bending your knee to really open the hips on the other side there. Bring your left leg down and just walk out your downward dog. Okay, we're going to walk or jump to the front of our mat and back into ragdoll pose. Again, you can swing from either side here, bend your knees, make sure you're taking deep inhalations and exhalations. Lift your arms up as you inhale and exhale as you stand neutral. Okay, we're going to take a seated position and we're going to work on opening our hips some more. So we're going to come into our butterflies so that the palms of your feet together. And we're going to just try our best to get our knees on the floor and flap our legs like a butterfly. <laughs> And from here, we're going to take a deep inhalation before folding forward. When we fold forward, try and use your elbows to push your knees further to the ground and your hands to push your feet further into you as you fold over them. 
we're going to then straighten our legs in a nice seated position. Find your seat bones as you inhale, lift your arms up and exhale as you fold forward, grabbing hold of your feet here. Just take a deep inhalation and exhalation here. Okay, now we're going to bend our right knee. Lift our arms up as we inhale and exhale over our left leg, bringing our head towards our left knee. Just again, deep inhalation, deep exhalation, deep inhalation. Okay, we're going to send our right leg back to meet our left leg. And we're going to take another fold over both of them. So exhale as you fold forward every single time. And inhale as you sort of come back up. We're going to bend our left leg now. And do the same. So take a deep inhale. And exhale as you fold forward over your right. Bring your head to your knee and just focus on deep breathing here. So inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, lovely. Okay, now if you can grab with your left hand your right wrist and just hook your foot, your right foot underneath or by your wrist. Pull your right leg up, bend your elbows, look at your foot, try and keep your back as straight as you can. So this stretch you should really feel in the back of your leg. If you can't grab hold of your um, wrists, then you can just monkey grip your hands, that's absolutely fine. When we come to the left leg, we're going to grab hold of the other wrist. And just bend your elbows if you can here, really stretching that leg as close to your torso as possible, keeping your back straight, looking at your feet. This is quite an advanced stretch, so don't worry if you can only grab hold of the outsides of your feet. Okay, and then put your legs back down as we take a deep inhale and exhale again as we fold forward over our legs. Okay, now grab hold of either one of your big toes with your two fingers and try and pull yourself forward towards your toes, so your chest... Um, is going sort of forward towards your toes and your head's up and now we're just going to come into our butterfly one more time and this should feel a little bit more open than the first time that we did it so butterfly pose here and then just inhale and exhale as you fold forward okay lovely okay so stand with your legs apart Put your hands on your hip, take a deep inhale and exhale as we fold forward. From here you can put your hands on the floor. And we're just going to bend our right knee. And so really, really feel that. You should feel that uh, where your hips are, where the backs of your legs are, really beginning to open your hips. And just take a deep breath here. Come to neutral. As you inhale, exhale as you bend your left knee. So we've got the same stretch on the other side. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can always drop your elbow on the floor here. Okay, and then just as best as you can, bring your chest towards the floor. You should really feel the stretch. And walk your hands a little bit further back to help you feel that stretch. And make sure you're breathing in, inhaling and exhaling. So come back into your wide-legged stand. Step towards the front of your mat. Inhale as you lift your arms up. Exhale as you fold forward. And now we're going to send our right leg back into a high lunge. And we're just going to lift our left arm off and push our 
knee out to the side a little bit here. So again, opening those hips up further, feeling that stretch. From here, you can come down onto your elbows. This is a bit like a runner's lunge. But on your elbows, so you should really feel that where your hips are. Bring yourself back up. Bring your hands to the outside of your foot and send your right leg to meet your left. Fold forward and hang here in our ragdoll pose before sending our left leg back into our runner's lunge and pushing our right knee out. So you can really feel that stretch where your hips are here. Be sure to keep breathing as you come onto your elbows. Keeping both legs active here. Make sure you're taking deep breaths in and deep exhalations. From here, we're going to send our left leg forward to meet our right and fold forward again. So really walk those legs out. This should be feeling a lot more relaxed than it was at the beginning, a lot easier. Okay, we're going to send both legs back into our downward dog. And walk this out and then we're going to send our right leg up from here we're going to come into our half splits standing so just walk your hands as close as you can to your standing leg same time trying to kick your right leg up in the air as high as you can get it and you can walk yourself back into your downward dog position before sending your left leg back up into the air and doing standing splits here again bringing your hands as close to your standing leg as possible and again walk yourself back into downward dog okay from here you're just going to take your left knee and bring it to your left wrist and come into pigeon pose Take a deep breath here, inhalation, exhalation, and fall forward over your resting leg. So this, again, is, is another pose that um, is a resting pose, but is really great for those hips. So take a deep breath in here, exhale, send the breath to where you feel like it needs to go. And this pose is probably one of the best ones if you're working on your splits and really wanting to get those hips as open as possible. You may find that you can just relax in this pose for a really long amount of time. Just focus in on where there might be any aches, sending that breath there. You can um, sit up in this pose and put your grab your foot into your right elbow if you can reach it and then just send your left arm over to grab to reach your right hand again deep breaths here if you can't quite reach this you can always use a strap around your foot send your left leg back to meet your right and come back into downward dog walk it out a little bit take a deep breath here before sending your right knee to meet your right wrist and pigeon pose on the other side so again find a comfortable place for you just fold over your right leg and take a deep breath here send in the breath to where there might be any aches and again you'll may find that it's quite comfortable for you to just rest in this pose for a moment again really good for opening those hips up so if you can bring your left leg up and sit it in your elbow of your left arm if you can't you can always grab a strap here once you've got that comfortably you can send your right arm up to meet your left and just twist your torso round, trying to square those hips up as best as possible. Okay.
taking deep breaths in and out. Okay, we're going to come into a seated position. And then we're going to sit on our heels. And slowly with our arms walk ourselves back into lying down over our heels. So this is really good at opening the quadriceps. And if you're comfortable here, you can send your arms over your head and grab hold of either elbow. If you're not, then just keep your arms by your side. That's totally fine. You should feel this coming at the front of your legs, your hips. Just take a deep breath here. And then we can come into a wide leg child pose. So sending your heart towards the floor. Knees nice and open. And just take a moment here to just breathe. From here we're going to come into our seated position. So lifting ourselves up, nice cross-legged position. And it's helpful if you've got a pair of socks to hand. Um, as we are practicing the splits. And I find that without them my foot keeps getting stuck. So it's nice to just slide into them. So go ahead and, and put your socks on. And first of all, we're going to try and do the splits up against the wall. Um, and I always prefer to do this one before doing the actual splits because I feel like you really can feel with your hands how much you need to push yourself into them. So I'm, I always like to start with my bad leg as well. So the, the side that I'm worst at doing the splits on. So I'm going to send my right leg up into the air and use my hands to just push my body back to the wall until if I can have no gaps between my legs and the wall and this is good because it allows me to feel how much my body is resisting to the splits doing them against the wall so once you've done one side you can go ahead and do the other so again take a deep breath in as you send your, uh, as I send my left leg up against the wall and exhale as I push myself towards the wall. Really feeling any resistance that might be there between um, my legs and the wall. Okay, so we're going to do one more butterfly because butterfly is really good at just neutralizing, opening the hips. Fold forward over your butterfly. And then if you have blocks around, um, grab hold of your blocks. If you don't, you can use a book. Or even if you have a blanket, blankets are always really good to use when you're doing the splits as well and again I always start with the leg that's worse so I'm going to stick my left leg forward and slowly lower myself I like to start with my back leg already in position and just send my front leg forward until I'm in splits and try to Keep your hips as straight as possible here. Soon I will be posting a video on how to square up your splits. So keep an eye out for that video. It will only be a short video, like 10 minutes, on how to be more square while you're doing the splits. Now I'm going to do the same on my right leg. So my better leg. You'll probably find that most people have one side that's much easier than the other. 
for me this is my right leg I'm just going to take a deep breath in and exhale as I fold forward over my right knee. Now, once you've done all this warm-up for it, it's good to sort of practice the splits three or four or five times. Don't just do it once. Keep, keep at it. Consistency is the key. Here we go again. Get your back knee in place and send your leg forward. Slide it forward. If it's more comfortable for you here, you can always sit on a blanket. This is also a good way to sort of help square your hips out. I know that I still am working on that, especially with my um, left leg forward. And then we're going to do the same again on the other side. When you're coming down into your splits, always remember to take those deep breaths in, so deep inhale deep exhale and you will find that that really does help you to, to go a little bit further every time okay lovely brilliant so coming towards the end of the the class today I'm just going to lay on the mat in a savasana and we're going to take our right knee and just bring it in towards our chest and give that a big hug Again, just focusing on breathing, inhaling, exhaling deep breaths in and out of the nose. Then do the same with your left. So lift your left knee up, bring it in towards your chest and give that a big hug. And again, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your nose. If it feels good, you can rotate your ankles here, your feet. And then just lift both your legs, bring them in towards your chest, and give them a big hug. I always like to come into a bit of a happy baby here. Your hips have done a lot of work today. Um, so grab hold of the inside of your feet and just pull your knees outwards into your happy baby. I also like to play around a little bit here, so I'm just straightening my legs as well. And then we're just going to relax in Savasana, as our hips and our legs have done a lot of work. Just focus on that breathing, so really feel the breath going into your belly and leaving your body. And just try to be aware of how you feel before each inhalation and after. If it feels good here as well, you can always bring your feet together and let your knees go out to the sides. So a bit like we're resting with butterfly legs. And remember when you're ready to come out of it to just roll to your right side keeping your eyes shut taking a moment here just taking a deep breath here and then pushing yourself back up into cross leg I like to keep my eyes shut here just a moment longer as we're taking another deep inhalation also if you're like me I like to check in on my lotus here as well 
So just placing my right foot on top of my left leg and my left leg over that. And then checking in on the other side as well. And just taking deep breaths here. Coming into our meditation now. Bring your hands together in front of your chest. In prayer position. Fold forward. Taking a deep breath, you can open your eyes. And thank you very much for practicing with me today. Hope to see you soon. Bye.